guys welcome back to my channel those are new here my name is Kenz and if you're interested please stay and subscribe if you haven't already I do mostly makeup and prep related videos here on this channel so make sure you subscribe if you're into makeup or fragrances and also hit the notification bell down below so you can be notified whenever I post either or so today I have a fragrance haul for you guys I have seven fragrances here so I have three niche and four affordable fragrances Okay, so let's start with the first one. Um, the first fragrance that I'm going to talk about is, is from a company that I've been speaking about here on this channel. It's the company Dossier. You guys heard me speak about this fragrance company for a few times now. They do affordable fragrances. They basically have in-person fragrances from designer and niche houses for $29 and $39. And the quality is spectacular. So each of them give you a card of the notes and the fragrance. So the first one we have is Oriental Cherry. You guys probably can pick up what inspired this fragrance, Oriental Cherry, come on now. So the top notes we have Cherry, Almond and Cinnamon. The middle notes we have Clove, Cloves, Rose, Jasmine, Plum and the base notes we have Peru, Balsam, Tonka Bean and Vanilla. And as you guys can guess it by the name, this fragrance is an inspiration fragrance from Tom Ford Los Cherry. Um, I've always wanted to spell that, but I really was not, you know, I didn't want to buy a sample. I watched a few reviews and it seemed interesting, so it always sparked my interest a little bit. So I'm glad I'm able to try it before, you know. And also, does they have a risk free system where you can try the fragrance before you buy it? They give you a sample, you can use that sample, and if you like the fragrance, you can go ahead and keep it. But if you don't, you can always send back the sealed bottle and get your money back. So, let me just tell you what I smell when I smell this fragrance. So, I've worn this once, um, and I must say, the first few minutes, the I could smell it in the room, but then it goes away okay so this fragrance it's definitely as it suggests a cherry fragrance so it's a spicy cherry and the spiciness i'm getting is not from the cloves it's from the cinnamon so it's a it's like a cinnamon cherry pie almost it's quite interesting if you like cherry in fragrances you will like this one but it's like a spicy cherry not a spicy as it relates to cumin and um incense and pepper but the cinnamon gives it that spicy kick because you know a cinnamon smells very you know opening your nose so it does have a spicy kick from the cinnamon um and i said i've worn this once and it i when i spray it on by the way over spray i mean i don't know if you can see if i lift a dent and i think i wore it once and that one day i did i did go in and spray it again and again um i think for the first few minutes you definitely can smell the fragrance um but it kind of dries down quickly in my opinion on my skin at least the first time i tried it um i do enjoy how it smells on me and I, and I must say it's quite linear the scent doesn't change in my opinion well this doesn't change it still smells the same thing you smell in the opening is what you smell in the dry down on my skin um it's nice it's just like a spicy rosy sherry pie it's not sweet but it's not not sweet so i guess the vanilla in the fragrance kind of gives it some sweetness but it's not too sweet it just smells like it also has like this synthetic vibe not synthetic well the cherry doesn't smell like an edible cherry it smells like something it is like so it smells like a cherry scented something i don't know how to explain it like a cherry scented soap no not soap but some it doesn't smell like i want to eat it it smells like something that um something that will brighten up a room but it's not something that to eat i could say air freshener but it's not an air freshener like but you know what i mean it or it could be a candle it could be a candle like it gives me that vibe where it's not you're not supposed to eat it you just you should just smell it and go about your ways like you know what i mean that's how the cherry smells to me 
okay so we have one more dusty fragrance and this also is from tom ford this is another fragrance that i wanted to try but i didn't want to spend my money for a sample or spend my money for the actual bottle and hating it i will have dossier linked down below if you're interested and i also have a discount code you can use if you want you don't have to there's no pressure it will also be down in the description box below but again you can try you can try designer or niche houses for affordable prices like 29 dollars and 39 dollars it's really really great for fragrances that last long on your skin and that are good quality so I, I don't think there's anywhere you can go wrong with dossier even if you don't like the fragrance you can either send it back or gift it to a relative a friend family as a gift like you know it's basically win-win so the next one we have here is powdery hawthorne and the top notes we have aldehydes, neroli, orange blossom. Middle notes we have hawthorn, heliotrope flower. Base notes vanilla, ambret, and peru balsam. The so powdery hawthorn is a dupe, a inspired fragrance from Tom Ford Metallic. I really thought the actual Tom Ford has a note of metal, metal in it, or I think so, but it doesn't. It has ambret, musma. Amber, which is musk, mallow, sandalwood, peru, balsam, vanilla, lily of the valley, bergamot. So there's just a few notes that that is different from the dossier version. Um, I don't think I smelled this one. See, it hasn't sprayed. Okay, so let me just tell you what I smell. Okay, the notes are interesting. It doesn't really seem like something I'd like, but but I could be wrong. it's a eerie there's something unique it smells like a it smells like a eerie orange blossom fragrance it smells like fresh flowers fresh bouquet of orange blossoms like or it smells like orange blossoms sprinkling in the wind like i don't know it smells so why does it why why does it have the name metallic is it supposed to smell metally am i not smelling the metal in this i don't i don't know, I don't know. it has a hint of it has something that i can't really put my mind on like i can't really put my tongue on there's something about it that's interesting It kind of, it, it kind of smells cloudy. I don't know if that makes sense. It kind of smells like a puff of cloud. I, I, I don't know. I'm just telling you off my head what I smell. It is interesting. And I'm very interested to wear this. It's not sweet. It's not fresh. It's not citrusy. It's not gourmet. It, I, don't, I don't know what family it falls into let me see what the tom ford family falls into so this is a floral aldehyde fragrance i think aldehyde is the like ear eerie i don't know aldehyde um it's synthetic natural popular and weird so the odor profile is a abstract soapy fatty fresh smell reminiscence of fresh laundry and frost Okay, so that's where I get the eeriness from. But it smells like a puff of clothes. It's really, it's really interesting. It's really interesting. I must say, I must say I'm kind of excited to see how it would work with my body chemistry. So definitely browse on their website to see if you're interested in any of the fragrances that they carry. And they also, they always have discount codes and again you can always use my discount code if you're interested but there's no pressure okay so for the next fragrance that i received i got these two from fragrance net i showed you one in the vlog that this is a re-up of my favorite fragrance which is jimmy Jo by jimmy Jo edt so this is the one i had 
So I just bought a smaller one of this. This is my third purchase of Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo EDT. And I think this is my most worn scent, I guess. If I finished two bottles. Is it third or... F is that my th second bottle or third bottle? I don't know. But I guess this is my most worn fragrance. So I had to buy this again. I... I think I really fell in love with this fragrance for some reason. I don't know. I just start. I started wearing it more recently, so I got that, um, and then I also got this. From, I still can't pronounce it. Is it Moschino? Moschino. I got this, and in, in my vlog, I said I got this fragrance because of my friend Sue. I smelled it on her. I smelled it on her, and she's always told me about her fresh. Um, fragrances and I, you know i'm not really a fresh girl but i need to go get into fresh fragrances because i need more fragrances i can wait to the gym i started gym you can tell by the vlog um and i wear some fragrances to my gym i wear perfume to the gym who doesn't and what about it um so i got this and this is my first one i must say i hate the bottle i even hate the bottle more because this can spray like why would you have this bottle if this can spray like oh that makes sense like oh it makes sense the bottle is the the tininess of it is cuter than the big one i would never buy the big one because it's so tacky but the small one is kind of it's kind of cute okay so let me just tell you the notes of this so the main accord we have fruity woody rose citrus fresh spicy floral green musky aromatic and white floral so this is a floral fruity fragrance for women and the top notes we have pink grapefruit we, the top notes we have pink grapefruit black currant lily of the valley bell notes we have rose pomegranate pink i don't know how to pronounce that word and the best notes we have musk cedar and ambroxin and i believe ambroxin is the com is a chemical that works with your body chemistry if i'm not mistaken so let me just i wore this a few times and i must say i actually love it more than i thought i would have i mean i smelled it and i said like yeah i want it but actually actually i'm pretty fond let's say fond let's not say love i am pretty fond of this fragrance yeah it smells really really good it's definitely a fresh floral fruity fragrance nothing too ex too spectacular not nothing too fancy but it still gives me something that no other fresh fruity floral fragrance is giving me i don't know if it's a pomegranate with the grapefruit and i must say it's, it lasts more than five hours on my skin even on my skin after the gym it lasts on my skin it does and it surprised me because not many floral fruity fragrances last and this one i must say it does i don't know if it's just my body chemistry or in general but this does last on me and i appreciate that and i think i want to buy the other ones but i don't love the bottle i love the bottle but i really want to buy some other ones from this collection because i really do like this one that's three fragrances and three of them are designers sorry and three of them are niche okay so let me just talk about this one i bought in jamaica uh someone was selling it they were you know uh decluttering their fragrance collection and i was asked if i wanted it and i initially i've never heard of this one from this brand i've had i have three from this brand um and i've never heard of about this one to be honest i've never seen any reviews on it but i went and looked up the notes and what really made me want this fragrance was the you know on fragrance net you know on fragrance they tell you what people think the fragrance remind them of and this fragrance from fragrantica reminds people of atelier cologne clementine california and i really love that fragrance like i love it love it love it like i love that fragrance so much i think i like three different fragrances from the atelier cologne brand by the way guys i tried to buy the sample pack from atelier cologne and my purchase got declined three times i don't know why have you guys had that problem because i want more i want to sample some fragrances from the house i know i want three of them already but 
I really want to get the sample set and I don't know why I can't get it but anyways so the fragrance that reminds people of Clementine California on Fragantica is Mansera Sicily this is my fourth Mansera fragrance fourth yeah this is my fourth Mansera fragrance as you guys can see Mansera is my you know it's my line I I must say I, I adore Mansera fragrance fragrances so this Sicily is a citrus fragrance for men and women. The men of course we have citrus, fruity, sweet, powdery, fresh, spicy, wild floral, fresh and woody. Top notes for this fragrance we have mandarin orange, grapefruit, peach, pineapple, bergamot and apple. Middle notes we have jasmine, ylang ylang, rose and violet. And the base we have white musk and woodsy note. Like woodsy notes. So, you know, after seeing those beautiful fruity notes and, you know, a few florals and then it says that it's a, someone thought it smells like Clementine, California, I had to get it. Um, so let me tell you what I smell when I smell this fragrance. I smell grapefruit. Um, I smell strong strong citrusy grapefruit also smell the bergamot i don't get the pineapple oh okay it smells like grapefruit and bergamot like and it smells like orange zest okay so that's what it smells it smell, you smell orange it's very zesty it's very citrusy you know when you're eating an orange and maybe you're eating the orange and squeezing it and you squeeze it and some went some went into your nose that's the last that's, that's how zesty and citrusy it is and you know when you're peeling an, you know when you're peeling an orange and the zestiness kind of jumps up and probably going to your eye going to your nose or just going to your face in general that zestiness that's exactly what that smells it smells grapefruity orange zest there's no other zest there's no lime it's not lime zest it's not grapefruit zest i don't even know if grapefruit has zest but it's not those kind of zest it's just orange zest with grapefruit juice and bergamot yeah that's what i smell <laughs> that's what i smell it smells very citrusy and i didn't think i would enjoy it to be honest because i'm not a citrusy person but i'm trying to branch out into new things but I'm, i do like it I do like it like I do like it it's very zesty it doesn't remind me however it doesn't remind me of Clementine California that is Clementine those are Clementine it smells instinctively different I believe um, but that fragrance I think it has a hint of sweetness this doesn't this is just zesty citrusy fragrance yeah this is definitely a zesty fragrance and I do enjoy it I've worn it a few times but I haven't really checked on how long it lasts or how it projects or the sillage of it but I've worn it probably like twice. I'll keep you updated. This is, I'll keep you updated. This is definitely a spring fragrance in my collection. The fragrance here we have is another Mancera fragrance and both came into the gold baggy. Baggy, that sounds weird. Anyways, and this Mancera fragrance we have here is holidays so i heard mj speaking about this fragrance and i went ahead and looked at the notes and they seemed you know they piqued my interest i must say i am becoming a mancera girl didn't see that coming but here i am with my fifth mancera fragrance and i still want rose is greedy i still want wild candy is it wild candy I heard Amber speaking about I think as well candy I want that one too so I want those two so that's seven but yeah um so Mansara holidays is a floral woody musk fragrance and the men accords we have sweet vanilla coconut white floral marine yellow floral powdery aromatic and lactonic so the top notes we have coconut and bergamot the middle notes we have tiery, tiery flower, sea notes ylang ylang, 
Andy Bates, Andy Bates notes we have vanilla pod, sandalwood, and white moss. White musk. So when I when I first smelled this fragrance, by the way, this is was my. Did I show you my fragrance of the day in my vlog? I don't think I did because I was so moody. This is what I wore for my friend's birthday trip. I've worn this a few times and I must say I do like it. Um, can you see a pattern here? Me liking Monstera fragrance, what's new? Um, when, I first smelled, when I smelled this fragrance, I smell terry flower and coconut. I smell not coconut water. I smell fresh, fresh, crunchy coconut like hard coconut there's no coke it's not coconut juice not coconut water not even coconut flesh just the hard white part of the coconut that you have to chew or you have to grate that coconut i smell it's very instinctively it's coconut and it also smells white floral it's white floral and coconut um I do, I do, I, I'm just getting a little bit of the ylang ylang. Um, I do enjoy this fragrance and it lasts on me even though I over spray. And if I don't think I can smell the fragrance anymore, I go ahead and spray again because I love smelling myself. I don't wear my fragrances for nobody else but myself. If I not smell it, I'm going to spray it more. But yeah, this smells very coconutty and white floral and who would have thought I would like coconut and white flour together. Um, this gives me it doesn't give me Dolce and Gabbana coconutty vibe because this is more white floral than this, and the coconut in this smells sort of like coconut water or coconut juice. But this one, but this one, holidays. <sighs> yeah, it has woodiness i think it, it does have woodiness it does smell a bit woody it smells fresh coconutty um and white floral it gives me a feeling i don't i don't know if it's a happy feeling but it gives me a feeling but yeah i do like my two mansara fragrances and those are my you know i know how five months of fragrances don't be alarmed or don't be surprised when you see me with my 10th month of fragrance anyways the last fragrance that i'm gonna talk about is my most i don't think it's the most expensive one here yeah because i bought the 1.7 ounce but uh i bashed this house when i first spoke about it i have a dedicated review on the house i bash this house um but in my defense i was not smelling any from this line um i've heard that this is a more inviting line this line is more appealing to consumers yeah i this is my first from the house didn't think i would buy this but i had a sample and i smelt it and i wore it and i decided hey i want to have one of these um the i want to have this house in my collection so let's start with this one so the fragrance that I'm talking about is Adults by Killian and it says let's settle arguments like adults in the bedroom naked. All of this corny whatever I hate hate absolutely hate the bottle but here we are me buying it. Um, This bottle is not it's not this is a 1.7 and it just looks small like it looks so tiny but yeah. I don't like this bottle mm, but here we are uh, I want to smell the princess one that everyone talks about I want to smell I want to see if it smells good but I think this line this entire line is different than his vodka on the rocks good girl black phantom all of that okay so let me tell you the notes of this so this is a so this is a oriental vanilla fragrance and those are my favorite oriental vanillas the main of course we have woody powdery sweet fruity vanilla and green the top notes we have bergamot and lemon the middle notes we have fig green notes and and the best notes we have vanilla cedarwood sandalwood violet oris and amber i actually wore this last night um i just sprayed three sprays on me last night and it 
and it was enough till the next morning um, and I could smell it strong strong on me the next morning so this lasts a long time like it lasts over eight hours <sighs> all right what I'm getting from this fragrance is I'm getting fig and woody notes it smells fresh but it still smells sensual and deep it smells sexy it, it's definitely a sexy fragrance it's a date night fragrance to me I think it's sweet from the fig and the vanilla it's also creamy it also smells creamy I really do enjoy this I like it um, I didn't expect this would be my first Killian purchase but I have a Killian in my fragrance collection and I am um, you know love that for me so uh, again we have adults I bought this off of Sephora I believe and again it's the 1.7 ounce so uh, you yeah, guys those are the fragrances that I'm gonna talk about in this video those are my fragrances that I'm going to haul in this video again make sure you check out dossier down below if you're interested in designer and niche fragrances for affordable prices and yeah guys that is it for this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next time